Hello and welcome to another Help Me Help You video with me, Dustin Stock. So today we're going to set up a point to multi-point connection using a Mimosa A5C and a Mimosa C5X. So let's go ahead and unbox these devices and get them configured. We'll go ahead and start with the Mimosa A5C here. So we'll, we'll open it up. So in the box, you have two hose clamps, you have a power cable for US and EU, you have your Mimosa power supply, you have the Ethernet gland, and you have two rolls of self vulcanizing tape for the connectors. So now we're just going to get our PoE plugged in here. So I'm going to pull the plastic cap off, pop out our PoE here. Toss the trash, plug in the PoE to power, and once you power up the PoE, you should have a blue light that comes on on the PoE. Uh, you also have two ports on it. You have the data and power and the data port. So data and power is going to plug into the A5C while data goes into your laptop. So as soon as you power it up, you, you get the power light that turns yellow and then it starts flashing green to show that it's booting. Uh, once we plug this into our laptop, you should start seeing a green light if you have a gig or a yellow light if you have 100 meg ethernet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plug into our laptop here. And we'll go ahead and get started. So keep in mind that the A5C is the only Mimosa product that has a 192.168.1.10 address. So let's go ahead and add a static IP into our network card here. So we're going to select manual. I'm going to put in 192.168.1.25, 255, 255, 255.0, and then apply that. And I'm going to go ahead and go to 192.168.1.10. If it's a brand new unit, it's going to ask you to update. So let's go download our firmware. So I'm going to turn on my Wi-Fi here. We're going to go to mimosa.co slash firmware. So we'll have to log into our Mimosa Cloud account. If you don't have a Mimosa Cloud account, it's a, a simple process to go through the sign-up page and to do that. So we're doing the A5C, so we're going to go and choose 252, save file, all right, firmware's downloaded successfully, so I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi back off, choose file, all right, choose 252, hit open, and then we're going to upload. So now the firmware has to upload to the radio. It'll verify the firmware, and then the radio will reboot. Once the radio reboots, uh, it'll come back up to the password screen where you'll actually put in the, the login password for the radio. Uh, just a tip here, if you type in uh, one, ping 192.168.1.10 into a command window, uh, you can wait and see uh, when the radio comes back up. Okay, now that you see that your, uh, your radio is pinging, we can go ahead and close the command window, and we can go back to 192.168.1.10. Uh, we're going to go and get our unlock code, so let's turn our Wi-Fi back on. Let's click Need an Unlock Code. And let's log in as your account. So let's go back here. Let's, let's get the serial number. We'll copy and we'll paste it. 
and we'll go ahead and agree to sign our life away. We'll submit. We'll copy the unlock key and we'll paste it in. So when you paste your unlock key, make sure you remove the extra space or it won't accept your unlock code. Now we'll put in our new password. And now we'll log in with the password you just used. So now you're logged into the Mimosa A5C. So there's only a few things you have to set up to make this work. Everything else is just tuning and settings for your particular setup. So let's go ahead and go to SSID. Uh, so the default is Mimosa 5G. The password default is Mimosa123. Uh, you also have a 2.4 gigahertz SSID for management. So that will always be Mimosa M and then the last three of your serial number, but you can always go here and change it to whatever you want. You can also turn the broadcast off if you don't want other people to see it. So we'll go to link. Currently we're in Wi-Fi interop mode. You, all, you have two options here, Wi-Fi interop and SRS mode. SRS mode is our GPS synchronization mode that we recommend. So we'll go ahead, we'll choose SRS and we'll go ahead and save changes so the radio has to reboot for two minutes so once it's rebooted we'll log back in and continue configuration okay now that the radio is rebooted into SRS mode let's go ahead and log back into it so let's go to the channel and power page and for setting up, we want to turn auto channel off, so we'll go ahead and save changes. Uh, also, when you're doing RF tuning uh, for the first time, you want to make sure you change it down to 20 megahertz, and you can turn the power all the way up if you want, just so you can get a client connected, and then you can go in and do your RF tuning afterwards. So for this, we'll go ahead and change it to 20 megahertz. We'll leave it at 5205. Uh, you can also go to management and you can assign a static IP address to it or leave it as DHCP plus static failover. So we'll go ahead and do static. I'll leave it at 192.168.1.10 for now and we'll save changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and unlock the, the C5X, get it configured. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it first. So the C5X is just the radio and the hose clamps. Uh, PoE is sold separately, so make sure that you have a 24 or 48 volt uh, PoE that will operate the C5X. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do much with it. So here is the Mimosa PoE. And here's a power cable that's also compatible with the Mimosa PoE. We'll go ahead and plug this PoE in the power. All right, and so on the C5X, all you gotta do is pop the cover off. And then for the PoE, it's just like the black one here. Uh, we wanna plug into the, the PoE port which will then plug into the radio, which if you look there when you power it up, you should see a green light start to flash. All right, so now we wanna plug the C5X into the laptop. So we're going to leave the A5C powered up. So we're just gonna move the LAN cable over and use another cable for the C5X. So we'll plug that into the LAN port of the PoE and into the ethernet port of your laptop. So now we'll go ahead and we'll actually log into the C5X and configure that. 192.168.1.20 to access the C5X radio. Now the C5X is up. So now we need to go download the firmware for the C5X. So let's go click on the link there. We'll go to download firmware. We'll go to C5, 
C5C, it's all the same firmware. We will save file. All right, and then let's go ahead and choose file and we'll we'll pick the 252 from the download list. All right, and we'll hit upload. So again, just like with the A5C, uh, the firmware has to upload to the radio. It has to verify, and then the radio will re reboot for two minutes. And once it's rebooted, we'll be able to log back into it, unlock the device, and then log in and configure it. Okay, now the firmware update is complete, so the radio is loading its page back up at 192.168.1.20. So for this exercise, we're going to do uh, manual unlock. So let's go ahead and click manual unlock. Let's grab the serial number. We'll copy and paste it on the device unlock page. Uh, we'll choose point to multipoint for this. We'll agree to sign our life away and we'll hit submit. We'll go ahead and grab the unlock key. So we'll copy it and we're going to paste it into the manual unlock box and hit unlock. If things goes as planned, it will take us to the next screen which will ask us for our password. All right. So now we'll go ahead and enter our, our new password and we'll save. Okay, so we're logged into our C5X radio now. So let's first go to management and let's change it from DHCP static to just static. We'll leave it at 192.168.1.20 for now and we'll save. The only other thing that you have to do is go to the link page and we need to enter the SSID for the A5 or A5C. But we'll just go ahead, we'll type in our SSID manually. So Mimosa 5G. The encryption key is Mimosa123, which is what's in the other radio. We'll hit Save Changes. Once you enter the SSID and password, it should connect relatively quickly and show connected on the link page. Or you can go back to the dashboard page and show that it's connected as well. Uh, you'll have the, the signal meter, it'll tell you what your channel width is, your transmit power, what frequency you're on, what your noise floor is at. So we'll go ahead, well, you should have access to your access point as well. So if you open up a window and go to 192.168.1.10, you should be able to log back into your, your AP and see the stats for it as well. Okay, now that we're all connected, I'm going to connect the internet cable to the A5C. I'm going to stay connected to the C5X and do a speed test and see if we have internet connectivity. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this green cable here, remove it. We're going to plug this into the internet. And then we're going to make sure we're plugged into the C5X. We're going to assign our stealth a DHCP address. So let's go ahead and do a speed test real quick just to see if things are working the way they should. So we should see around 50 megs uh, depending on usage on our network. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here is the Ethernet boot, the Ethernet gland that comes with the E5C. And in the end of it, you see a little rubber washer. You need to make sure that this is in there before you finish installation. Otherwise, you're going to end up with water in your Ethernet and it's going to fry your Ethernet port. So we're going to take this, we're going to pop the rubber out, and we're going to install this on the cable. 
you want to make sure you put the end cap on first. Then you slide this over. You can plug your Ethernet in. Twist the boot on. Take your rubber gasket, put it on the cable, and slide it in there. And once it's in there, you, then you can screw the cap on. As you can see here, you have the Mimosa N545X4, which is connected to the Mimosa A5C. Uh, on the back, it's labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. And on the bottom of the radio, it's labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you want to make sure that you have the cables plugged into the corresponding members. So 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, and 4 to 4. All right, so the Mimosa A5C is held up by two hose clamps. Uh, this bar here on the back of the A5C can also come off and be attached to certain antennas like the MTI 65 degree, 90 degree panel antenna or the KP Performance 65 degree antenna, which has special mounts for the Mimosa A5C. The N545X2 and X4 are both mounted with brackets on the back of the antenna and they're interchangeable as well. So if you need to take one antenna off, you can put another right back on regardless if it's an X2 or an X4. Okay, we're gonna take you to the client side of this installation so you can see how the client radio is installed. So this is the point the multipoint Mimosa C5X with the 20 dBi dish. Uh, as you can see here, it's installed on the Mimosa Flexi mount. It's mounted to a wall on the outside of a house. You can also use a J mount or any other type of mount to mount the C5X to. Uh, to align this, it's, it's pretty simple. You just point toward the tower and adjust vertically and horizontally as needed. Uh, you can also use the Mimosa install app using the Mimosa G2 for real-time alignment with your phone. That way you can stand up on the rooftop and actually do all the work by yourself. Uh, again, just make sure you have the Mimosa G2, otherwise the Mimosa app will not work for you. If you need help using the Mimosa install app, you can either watch our YouTube video on the Mimosa install app, or you can go to our help page and look through the documentation or if you want to talk to somebody in Mimosa chat, feel free to go to mimosa.co slash support. Okay guys, and with that, we've concluded our point the multipoint video using the Mimosa A5C and C5X. We went through the unlock, the configuration, the mounting on the tower, and the mounting on the home. If you have any more questions or need more help, feel free to view some of our YouTube videos or come to Mimosa support at mimosa.co slash support. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on our another Help me help you.